Hey up everyone, Rich here at Only Vans. In this video, we're going to take you through the top 10 tips for if you're going to be using your caravan, motorhome or camper van in the winter time. Just before we get started, I just want to show you that on my eye. Um, so this morning, uh, as I was getting up to do a night feed, stood at the bottom of the bed in the caravan, went to stretch, uh, lost balance, fell forward and then clocked the clocked my eye off the corner of the tally, so don't worry, it's not Lisa that's been doing it. Tip number one is establishing a routine. So making sure at night, you know, if you're gonna empty the cassette, if you're gonna refill your fresh water, make sure you're doing it before it gets dark. It's about making sure that you know where everything is. So the seasoned caravanners out there, you know, or motorhomers, you will know, for example, where your slippers go where your coats go and things like that. So it's about making sure that you have got a routine established. Absolutely nobody wants to be emptying the toilet when it's minus three outside and it's pitch, pitch black. Tip number two is make sure that you're draining all of your water out after each trip. Uh, so that is turning all the levers so that it's allowing all the water to come out of your caravan, be it um, onboard water tank, because the last thing that you want is any residual water to be left in the pipes. That can then freeze and that can burst your pipes. Me personally, I would always leave the taps and the valves open. That just means if there is any air that is in any of the pipes, then the air can be released as well. And one of the benefits of making sure that all your water is out and you've drained everything, is it just means that when you decide to go away again, it's absolutely ready to go. Tip number three is insulating any external water tanks that you've got. So for example, for those of you that have got aqua rolls, we've got two. So what we do is we put insulating jackets on our aqua rolls just to make sure that they don't freeze. I've seen people use high-vis jackets. I've seen people use all sorts of stuff. It just prevents the water from freezing inside your aqua roll. And if ever you need to pull it in, it would just be an absolute catastrophe when you were trying to pour water into your onboard water tank. Not particularly expensive thing to do. And like I say, people use old coats, fleeces, uh, all sorts of things that they use. And one more top tip as well, is to make sure that you bring your aqua roll so that it's not on the ground. Um, try and find an old piece of wood or something like that that you can sit your aqua roll on, just so that it's not just straight on the ground below. Next tip is make sure you check the weather before you go. So obviously, you know, going away at winter, you understand that there is an element of, uh, you know, propensity for there to be some bad weather. But if it's going to be snowing or if it's going to be a really icy roads, just think weather. You know what? It's worth just swerving it for one extra week. Keep an eye on your tyres. Make sure your tyres are in good condition. If needs be, think about investing in some extra tyres. But maybe as well think about getting uh, like an emergency kit just in case for whatever reason the worst was to happen and you were to break down so things like extra coats blankets tow ropes high-vis jackets all that sort of stuff just thinking about the worst possible case scenario next tip is really really think about the stuff that you take so obviously if you're going in winter you're not going to need things like your outdoor chairs perhaps or your kadak or anything like that so take less of your summer stuff, but make sure you're packing more of your winter stuff, your big coats, you know, maybe take two coats in case one of them gets wet. Take gloves, scarves, woolly hats. Just make sure you're packing stuff for the time of year. The next one is something that a family member told me, uh, and that is, if it's possible, make sure you bring your caravan step in overnight because the last thing that you want to do is in the morning, especially if there's been a frost or if it's been icy, put all your weight on your step as you're looking to leave your caravan. Next thing you know, legs akimbo, legs over head, you know, and, and doing some real damage like that. So, you know, that's one to really think about. Think there will be times when the weather is absolutely shite, when it's freezing cold, it's raining, and you just will not want to leave your caravan, your motorhome, your camper van. So make sure you've got plenty of games with your board games and all that sort of stuff. Stuff to pass the time just in case the weather is truly against you. We made a video about our favourite caravan games, so it might be worth checking that out here. Plan your time. Don't be getting to your site 
when it's dark because it's hard enough doing it when it's really cold but the last thing that you want to do is getting onto a site at five half five the wind's howling it's minus 900 degrees it's raining and then you've got to set up all your camp and all that sort of stuff in the dark it's absolutely minging and no one wants to do it so just make sure you get there in good time one of the most important ones is make sure you're prepared make sure you've got a good amount of gas or at least make sure you know how much gas you've got always carry a spare bottle of gas with you if you can and make sure there's plenty of charge in your ledger battery because like i say if for whatever reason one of those things goes then you're really going to struggle if you are taking an awning with you make sure you get things like a draft excluder and a breathable ground sheet as well just to make sure that you're making everywhere where you are as sort of chill proof and as windproof and as airtight as physically possible and if you want more information about awnings check that out here and the bonus tip as well is to prevent your waste water from freezing um, add a tiny tiny little bit of antifreeze in there so what that means is it just means that in your waste master you don't have to worry about that freezing uh, and all that sort of stuff people sometimes do use salt but absolutely do not use salt because what salt will do is salt will corrode uh, the inside of your waste master <laughs>